Hello, in this video we're going to do an absolute and comparative advantage problem, a problem that is similar to what might be found in Greg Mankiw's textbook. So here we have two individuals, Brad and Chad. Brad takes 30 minutes to change oil in a car and four hours to detail or clean a car. So we have that information down here for Brad. Brad can change oil in a car, taking 0.5 hours or 30 minutes, or clean a car, taking 4 hours. Chad takes 1 hour to change oil in a car, 1 hour, or 5 hours to detail a car. What we want to find out is who has an absolute advantage in oil changes and who has a comparative advantage in oil changes. First, we'll note here, Brad has an absolute advantage in oil changes. He needs less time to complete an oil change than Chad. So 0 0.5 versus 1 hour. So Brad takes less time to change oil in a car. So he has an absolute advantage in changing oil. Brad also has an absolute advantage detailing. He needs less time to detail a car than Chad. 4 hours versus 5 hours here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the number of oil changes and detailing each person can do in a fixed number of hours. I could have picked 8 hours, uh, 4 hours here. I decided to use a 10-hour day. So in a 10-hour day, um, for Brad, in a 10-hour day, if it takes him 30 minutes or a half hour to do an oil change, in a 10-hour day, he could do 20 oil changes. So just 10 divided by 0.5. On the other hand, if he spent his entire 10 hours trying to clean cars, 10 divided by 4 means he could clean or detail 2.5 cars. Our calculations for Chad are going to be 10 divided by 1. So if it takes him one hour to do an oil change, Chad could do 10 oil changes in a 10-hour day. Or if it takes him five hours to clean a car in a day, he could clean Two, uh, he could clean two cars in 10 hours, just 10 divided by 5. So we could use these numbers here to also figure out who has an absolute advantage in which good. Brad has an absolute advantage in oil changes. He can complete more oil changes in 10 hours than Chad. 20 is greater than 10. Brad also has an absolute advantage in detailing. He can complete more detailing in 10 hours than Chad. 2.5 is greater than 2. Now let's look at comparative advantage. That's the ability to produce an item at a lower opportunity cost than can another producer. To calculate the opportunity cost, we're just going to divide a person's number by his other number. So for Brad, let's just take one of his numbers here, say 20 oil changes in 10 hours. And we're going to divide that by 2.5 detailed cars in 10 hours. So the, the 10 hours and 10 hours, that's going to cancel. And you're going to get 20 divided by 2.5, which is 8. And so this will just simplify down to 8 oil changes per detailed car. What does that mean? It means the opportunity cost of detailing one car is 8 oil changes. Brad could have done eight oil changes in the time it takes him to detail or clean one car. Now we're just going to basically reverse these numbers, divide the other number here, the 2.5 now by the 20. And once again, the 10 hours cancel. Then you get 2.5 divided by 20. That's just 1 over 8, or 0 0.125. And that'll simplify to 0 0.125 detailed cars per oil change. What does that mean? The opportunity cost of one oil change is 0 0.125 detailed cars. Brad could have detailed 0 0.125 cars in the time it takes him to do one complete oil change. We're going to do the same thing for Chad. So just Trying to calculate these opportunity costs, taking one number, dividing it by another number for a person. So I'll start here with 10. Uh, 10 divided by 2. That'll simplify to 5 oil changes per detailed car. 
That means the opportunity cost of detailing one car for Chad is five oil changes. Chad could have done five oil changes in the time it takes him to detail one car. The opportunity cost for the other good, I'm just going to take the two now and divide it by the 10. So two detailed cars divided by 10 oil changes means we get 0 0.2 detailed cars per oil change. We can interpret this as the opportunity cost of one oil change is 0 0.2 detailed cars. Chad could have detailed 0 0.2 cars in the time it takes him to do one oil change. So summarizing all this information now in a table, the opportunity cost of doing one oil change for Brad is 0 0.125. Uh, detailings um, for Chad at 0 0.2 detailing so Brad has a comparative advantage in oil changes the opportunity cost to do an oil change is slightly less for Brad than it is Chad as for detailing Chad has a comparative advantage in detailing 5 is less than 8 so every time Chad details a car he gives up doing 5 oil changes where Brad gives up doing a little bit more. He sacrifices more oil changes. Um, so in this case, again, Chad has a comparative advantage in detailing. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.